Okay, I actually think this is crazy, okay? So this is the initial melody that I have right here. All right, that same bell type sound that you heard, not the string or the hi-hat or the 808, it's the same noise that's in this sample right here. Listen, listen to how eerie that sounds. Even this little background effects, right? That, those little like wet walking noises literally came from this. And here's how. There's not going to be some sort of transition to tell you how, by the way. Like literally, I've only pitched it down. I've changed the time. All right. By changing the time, this is affected right here. From yeah, so this is like a soup. I've stretched this out to this long right here. By the way, um, so that's a big factor. But I also think one of the biggest factors into this was I was playing around with the mode as well. All right, it's also reversed, obviously. But one thing that I've also noticed is that when it comes to like me. With my sounds and how I put them together, a lot of the time I don't reverse my sounds for dark melodies is because the sounds that I find, they they just, they emulate that effect already. You know what I'm saying? I think just when people get used to the dark effect, then it's just, in the reverse effect, then it's just like, all right, well, we've heard it before, you know? Um, but I couldn't hear it when I changed the mode, the time, the pitch, reversed it. You know, I essentially made this melody into a pad. Um, so, you know, that's probably a good way to do that for anyone trying to find the next step in their uh, just processing when trying to make melodies and stuff like that. The drums that I have for this are like pretty generic, to be honest. I'm not the greatest at drums. I don't want to say that I'm terrible. But I could use some work, obviously. How do I? There you go. Like, I also could use better sounding selection when it comes to percussions, like kicks and snares and stuff like that. Especially when it comes to, like, compressing them and putting them together. Um, you know, when to really have them pop and vibrant and when to have them sound muffled and stuff like that. <laughs> Yeah.